So in this section, we're going to look at turn the body and chop. So in the form, can you see I'm all the way here and I'm turning all the way around. Warm, I can even jump in this movement. But in reality, when you're using this, you're, it's not always coming from behind. It could already be in front. You're just having to move your feet and your legs to come in. So we'll look at um, turn the body and chop. Okay, so turn the body and chop is used against like a, an attack coming from the top. So I want to first block and I want to try and move off the center slightly. So let's swap over. So Ayub is going to come and strike down. Whoom, so he's trying to get in, yeah? So as he strikes down this way, so as he comes. So I'm gonna move off and block. So you, the reason I'm not supporting this time, um, if you push down, push down into me as well boom can, can, can you see push down push down keep going keep going it's actually can you feel how I'm getting weaker so the reason we keep pushing can you see I push down with my palm does that feel stronger yeah, yeah. so can you see in the form we go when we turn dung it's giving me this structure for the force to come in so as he comes to strike again I'm gonna move off yep he might push down then from here I'm gonna move the sword to the side yeah and I'm going to come in and check. Can you see I'm taking his balance? And then I strike in. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily need to go for the weapon. I can control him from here. Boom, this way. So as he comes again, so I move off, I block. So I'm gonna just turn the saber down. So if you just um, wait a minute. So can you see here, when I block, I step. Can you see how the saber comes down? I step out, my hand moves out, that's the trap. And I'm lifting up to chop. So this is what I'm doing here. So as he comes in, I move off, block. I move, I'm gonna trap in. Can you see I'm in range? And I'm just gonna go for his neck here. So that's turn the body and chop.